guys, welcome back to Pokemon Dungeons and Dragonites Episode 9, the Team Rocket Adventure, joined, as always, by the people, by the friends, by the trainers themselves. Hey, I'm Eric, and I play Silver Rowan, a Pokemon trainer specializing in rock-type Pokemon. Hello, I'm Ariana, and I play Marina, a Pokemon trainer specializes in the psychic-type Pokemon. And I'm Tyler. I play Leaf Nadim, specializing in the fire types. And I'm Chandler. I'm the Dungeon Master Professor, who's really excited because they, that all went pretty smoothly for once. Like, everyone kind of, like, tonked. There yeah, I know, like, right? There wasn't, like, dead space or, like, emptiness. <laughs> it wasn't awkward. We kind of just talked. But guys, nine nine sessions in, we're doing it. We're evolving. <gasps> bum, bum, like my bum, Charmeleon. Bum, bum. So... Uh, in our last session, our trainers made their way to Vermilion City with their bestest buddy, Yellow. Uh, once they got there, they figured out the Vermilion City gym was locked. Uh, so they asked around the town and found out that both Lieutenant Surge and Sabrina had been missing for a couple days. Uh, and so after going door-to-door, -door, meeting a, just a very nice couple, uh, they, they went were pointed towards the SS Anne. They went on there, found Sabrina locked away. Uh, they saved her. Also saved uh, a nice little Eevee who joined the party, who has a special <laughs> ability to switch into any evolution once per day uh, after experimentation. Who knows how who caused the experimentation, but, you know, it happened. Uh, afterwards, uh, they took on Lieutenant Surge. Uh, Sabrina watched. Uh, once they defeated Surge, the Officer Jennings came in, arrested them, and uh, for the goodness that they did, uh, Sabrina awarded them with the Thunder Badge. Uh, which, last time I showed the Soul Badge and not the Thunder Badge, but they definitely earned the Thunder Badge and not the Soul Badge, because that's Sabrina's badge. That would be weird if she gave them a badge for not doing anything for her. Uh, afterwards, she told them, uh, or, or encouraged them, to come uh, challenge her the following day in Saffron City. Uh, along the way, at the very end, our uh, trainers also discovered a note that Lieutenant Surge was writing to Giovanni, and they, they stashed it for later for maybe some uh, devious actions. Who knows? So, uh, with that, you guys left Pavilion City and headed back north to Saffron City. Uh, along the way, uh, you guys uh, encountered a random uh, Pokemon and fought it. And afterwards, what happened? Ariana? My Abra evolved to a Kadabra. A Kadabra, it happened. It was very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, the other Ooh. two kind of just stood there and looked at it. Uh, and really, that's <laughs> because we didn't do the math last time at the end of the battle. And that happened technically in the Lieutenant Surge fight, but that wouldn't make sense for canon, so we added this in. So, you guys made your way back up to Saffron City, headed to the Pokemon Center uh, to heal up your Pokemon, and that is where we find ourselves today, back in Saffron City. What would you guys like to do? Well... Uh, just, just for note, it's about 5.30 uh, p.m. So we cannot do the gym... Uh, you guys want to uh, head over? Is Yellow still with us? Uh, no, you guys ditched her. You guys have no idea where she is. Oh, right. You guys. Ditched she went her. to return all the Pokemon. Oh, that's right. And we, left and, we and we we said we'll catch up with you later, and we left. You definitely did. Oh, but did we actually leave her? Yeah, you definitely yeah, told her, her you'd meet her at the Pokemon Fan Club Master's place because that's where you also got your bike voucher, and then left and then without we left. her. So. Yep. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. I didn't realize we did that. I I did, but I was hoping that Chandler forgot. <laughs> nope. No, this time around, I'm actually taking like extensive notes, as a good dungeon master probably should, which I didn't do in our last campaign that was on the channel a couple years ago, and I forgot a lot of stuff that happened. Huh. Um, should we go? Guys should we to, go uh, back for yellow? Go back for yellow, so we don't kind of um, ruin <laughs> make this a rocky road. You guys want to head over to our base and try and uh, dig it out a little bit more. I think we need to go back for yellow. I will say uh, it is a it is about a uh, a half hour walk uh, back to Viridian, uh, Vermilion. City. Can we call her? Yeah, let's she, call her. She, she does have your number. You guys, Let's you guys did exchange numbers on your Pori phones. All right. Um, how about uh, Marina? How about you call her? I will call her and let her know that we left. We accidentally left, and we were really excited. We'll meet her 
here? Yeah, tell here. her that we, uh, that, tell her that we just got excited for these vouchers and we headed back up to Saffron to heal our Pokemon and Pokemon. Okay. Uh, as you pull out your phone, uh, you see that you have a you have an unread text message on it from an unknown number. Yikes. I'll read it. <laughs> uh, the text message says, uh, "Hey, this is this is Yellow. Um, where'd you guys go? It's I, 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 I dropped off the Pokemon and I came to the the the, the fan club. You guys weren't we here. Up. He he mentioned that you guys kind of left in a hurry. Just want to make sure everything's okay. A call. I call. Okay. What? Oh, I'm just making a phone call. <laughs> hey, it's Yellow. What's up? Hi, Yellow. It's Marina. Oh, hey, uh, Marina. What's up? Where, where'd you guys go? I, I'm still, I'm so, still sitting here. This guy's getting, he's getting a little weird with his Kadabra. I, I was hoping you guys were gonna. His be boy. Here. <laughs> oh, weird. No. His Daphne. If, if you want to start heading towards Saffron, we'll meet you halfway. Um, we are so used to traveling as a party of three that, um. We headed to Saffron, and we are so sorry. I mean, that's that's that's. I I guess, but I did I did ask you guys to wait for me, and I figured I, I figured you guys would have at least stopped by the Pokemon Center to heal your Pokemon before you left. We did. You guys tell her, did. Just... Tell tell her tell her we went to fight Pokemon. Tell her that your Abra evolved. Oh my! Oh my! Abra evolved, and there was so much excitement, and we we're excited about the bike vouchers, and there's just. We really, honestly, like, 100% did not leave you on purpose. Make a deception check. Hey, we really did not, forget her on accident, not, though. Deception. Mm. We really honestly forgot No, her. because, uh, uh, check the tape. Uh, they said, hey, let's real fast, uh, get out of here, so that way we can go check on our base and, and without Yellow being here. Oh, I don't really? remember that. You, get, you guys absolutely know. said that. Did I say that? Yes. Because that sounds like something I would 100% say. Say. you said that. You you said well, let's let's run out of here before Yellow comes out and let's get oh, our way to Saffron City before she catches up with us, which oh, is specifically Tyler. why you guys chose not to heal your Pokemon in Vermilion City, so that way you wouldn't run into Yellow. Mm, oof. Oh. I guess oh. make a deception check. <laughs> Twenty. That's fine. She rolled a thirteen on her insight, so she believes you. Okay. Good. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. I mean that's fine. If you guys have stuff to do, we we could always meet up for like dinner later. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds great. That sounds that. perfect. Uh, okay. Do you guys do you guys want to meet back at the at the vegan pizza place later? Uh yes, I love that pizza. I am so down, girlfriend. <laughs> oh. I like seven. Oh, okay. Inside check. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's go seven thirty. All right. Seven thirty. All right. I gotta I gotta go. Uh, okay, bye. Bye. That went really. That sounded like it went really well. That was great. That was great. So what are we... We're meeting yellow for pizza at seven thirty. And I look, and it's five thirty something. It's five thirty-two now. Wait. Do what? Okay. How far? How far away was our base? I uh, probably like a ten-minute walk. You want to jog to the base and play play in our secret hideout for a bit? Let's, Let's see jog. If, uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, you guys, uh, make a dick here. I'm just kidding. Uh, you guys, uh, oh. uh, so you guys, uh, can, uh, jog your way over to your secret base if you want to? Yes. Yes. Cool. So you guys, uh, you guys do that. You head over to, uh, your secret base, which, as you guys know, exists on, uh, Route, uh, 7 over here. Uh, you guys set uh, that route up. Route 7, Route 8, Route 9. No, 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 no. no. This is 7, this is Route 8, and this is Route 9. You guys have never okay. been to Route 9. Route nine is there. So you guys make your way to your uh, to, to where you left your secret base. As you walk up, uh, make some uh, perception checks, all of you. Oh, don't don't know what my perception is. Uh, check it. You, it's in it's in the Discord. Tyler, for it's note, not, is uh, not on his normal computer, so he has none of his stuff. It, it's in it's the Discord. Not updated. Yeah, yeah, but you at least have your perception score. I've leveled up a couple times. Have, have you put stuff into your perception? I've put stuff into my wisdom. Oh. 30, 20. Well, I'm pretty sure I have plus. 
Well, that's just... You, you were pretty sure you have a what? Plus four? I'll do a th Six. Cool. Uh, so as you all walk up, uh, you see, uh, you see uh, your your secret base. You see the the leaves. You guys knowing that it's there, it kind of uh, jumps out to you. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you don't. Uh, a, a marina with a twelve. As you walk up, it takes you a second to find it. But since you know it's there, you do eventually zero in and see it. Entrance is still covered, just how you left it the other day. All right. Um, we want to check and make sure the pokeball is still there. Yeah. yeah. Just check. Cool. Uh, you pull it away slowly. You, you come inside, and the Pokeball is right where you left it. Hey, Porygon. With a note. Wait. Hey, Porygon. Do you need... I'm using the Siri function on my Porygon phone. Yeah, it doesn't respond until you say a question. It ju it's just there hey, listening. That's how Siri hey, works. Hey, Porygon. Do you need... Set reminder for 7.15. What time did we say we were meeting? 7.30? What Set would you reminder like the reminder to be? Pizza time yeah. with yellow. <laughs> uh, wait, let me think for a second. Pizza rhyme with Nello at seven right, thirty. I'll, I'll just type. It. I'll just edit it. Type. <laughs> I'll know what that means. Save seven. So I set a reminder for seven fifteen. Great. So this was a note with a Pokeball? No, it was a joke. There, I, I, I was going to do like a like a, a pause thing, but then Tyler did his joke instead. The Pokeball is just <laughs> sitting there right where you left it. Uh, nothing in here is any different than it was. Great. Oh, cool. Right. Well, um, I can Oops. pull out my Onyx and try out some more, some dig and the like and see uh, if we can make this kind of out the way we like. We, uh, we know dig now, so Sandshrew is going to use his dig attack. Cool. So does that. So, uh, so have uh, both of them do a let's do a strength check both with advantage I'm going to throw out Kadabra again to clear out the debris sweet 19 Eric <laughs> <laughs> man Eric you rolled a nat 1 and then a natural 2 but Onyx has and a plus 8 plus so it's a 10 no, but the, but you rolled a one and a two, and I was like, ooh, before I looked the at that. The last one collapsed the cave. Uh, okay, so as they're doing that, have uh, Kadabra uh, make a uh, a wisdom check uh, with advantage as well. Ten. Okay, uh, and then all right, so they're doing that. So with all that, uh, Onyx goes in and he starts digging. As soon as he starts to dig. He's just go he's going a little reckless and just kind of going through it. Sandshrew, with that uh, higher roll of 19, kind of jumps in and kind of helps direct Onyx a little bit, and they kind of dig out a little bit more. Uh, Kadabra's moving some stuff around. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's have them make... Hmm. I should have come up with base building mechanics, I suppose. Uh, let's have yeah. them make some... Uh, have Onyx make, make a constitution saving throw. Uh, oh, Eight. with advantage. Because oh, you're using okay. dig. Ten! Yikes. Jeez, man. Uh, and have uh, Abra make a uh, dexterity saving throw with advantage. Dabra. Eight. Yikes, you guys roll real, real low. Uh, Alright, so. So, Onyx goes in. Uh, he's expanded the base out a little bit more. Sandshrew's kind of helping clean out there as well. Uh, so, some of the, the rocks start to fall, uh, and Onyx is able to... Onyx is able to, to scoop up some of them as he pushes through. Kadabra ca catches a few and moves it out of the way. Uh, and then you guys are currently sitting at a 10 by 10 base. Um, that okay, holds. Chandler, while, while this is happening, I'm going to throw uh, I'm going to throw out Charmeleon and Poliwar. Okay. So Charmeleon is going to use a mixture of Dragon Rage and Ember to like heat up rocks and chunks of metal that might be in the mountain and then Poliwhirl is going to use water gun to cool it down while Sandshrew is helping like essentially making braces uh them. roll a d20 with advantage and I will also let's also have Nidorino out using double kick precision get things uh, 
throw out Mankey or Merida as well, and he can do some. Uh, All our Pokemon are at work. All right, with that, roll a d20 with advantage and add a plus five to your modifier. Comes my nat one. Natural 20. Okay. I got, uh, I got a 19, so 24 overall. Okay, so with that, uh, they work together really well. That's some very creative thinking with the use of your Pokemon. Uh, you guys are able to... Uh, you guys uh, s slide out a nice uh, 15 by 10 chamber... And the walls are pretty smooth. Like, they're not like, they're rocky, but they're also pretty smooth with the uh, poor, uh, poly, poly worlds kind of putting water on it. It's being uh, heated up, being able to be molded a little bit. Sandshrew and Onyx kind of being able to slide through. Uh, so it holds. You guys currently have a 10 by 15 base. Uh, Is that, uh, that's feet or squares? Uh, because 10 by 15 is not that big. No, it isn't. It isn't. Uh, so let's instead, because if each square is five feet, uh, let's say it's a it's a it's a twenty five foot by twenty five foot. Nice. Yeah. So five five squares in uh, D and D terms. So five foot of square. So twenty five yeah. by twenty five feet. Uh, ba uh, little opening. Everything's pretty smooth on the wall, uh, but it is very dark. Now we need to use your Pikachu to to rig up some electricity. Is that possible? Maybe we need to search out a generator of some kind, um, and then have and then run that later. What time is it at at this point? Uh, I would say with all of that work you guys have done, my alarm gone off. The run out here? No, it's it's probably you take a quick look at your phone. You guys are kind of sitting around. Not really like taking a break because you, the three of you, haven't done anything. You've just been, you know, using your Pokemon to do it. Uh, you know, so very Team Rocket. Uh, it's been a, it, it's a, it's about six Team Shadow. It's about six fifteen. So we got like an hour. All right. Um, so we got a nice, nice uh, little um, kind of living area. Do we want to branch this off? See if we can make our own little room. Um, and then maybe from there, uh, maybe we can uh, make maybe a kitchen area. Oh, you're going full out. I'm saying something we can live in. I'm not saying it's all going to happen today, but I'm throwing ideas out. We can just... also do that, but we can also maybe think about making a false um, wall in here. So that initially when you come in, it looks like the small cave and then like you can pass through it and it's like the actual cave if we can somehow figure out how to do that. Sick, that's sick, that's sick. Okay, so a false wall. Also like our own rooms. And... So this uh, 25 by 25 area here, you're thinking this will be the false cave that and then we need to build something deeper? Maybe... Or maybe just find walls to like. Minecraft. Oh, I was just, I was just updating the map. <laughs> I was, just, I was just updating the map real fast. That's hilarious. Do uh, the, do the cave so that it's like, you know how like our first thing was like five foot by ten, five foot, maybe something yeah. like that. So it looks like it's literally just like hard. I don't know how to do it though. We can come back to it because we only have an hour right now until we have to meet Yellow. So. So do we want to start off by uh, maybe trying to make a, a little alcove? So, and I'll point yeah. over to like the far right corner and be like, maybe um, put like a put a nice like fifteen foot uh, in yeah. it by like ten feet to make that a little uh, kitchen area to be able to maybe put some some stuff. Maybe make it a little kitchenette. Little kitchenette, yeah. A little, little kitchenette. It doesn't so have make a little bathroom. bathroom. We can just make a room if you'd like. <laughs> we need to figure out plumbing. You're right. <laughs> so maybe for now, maybe this is uh, good enough. I thought it was going to be a storage thing. I figured let's make a full out base. We um, want to spend so the time. Doesn't have to so be for good. this last hour, for the last hour, I am going to have Sandshrew um dig a little five foot hole 
in one of the corners. Okay. Like a five oh, foot um, hold going down or a five foot So so like a, like big enough for a hand to reach through. Uh-huh. And then like so it's gonna go like in and then it's gonna like go up and then there's gonna be a platform. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Enough to like if you would reach your hand in there you can store stuff and take Okay. Yeah, Sand True Sand True is easily able to make something like that. That that's not a big thing. Not gonna require you to roll for that. That's a very bit, simple. Enough to store a couple. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a very simple. That's that's just making a hole in the wall, going up, okay. going out. That 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 I won't um, require a roll from. That's very small. I'm gonna keep the fossil. In. Okay. So if Both you want to put your fossil, in, do you want to put your fossil in here too? I will put my fossil in. Okay. So you guys so uh, put your there. fossils up in there. You you like kind of you kind of reach a... through, go up. Uh, place it on that, and then you pull your head back out. And then Do I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have one of them seal it. With what? Uh, the same thing that Charmeleon and, and Hollyworld was. Okay, make. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna get some rocks, put it right there. Yeah. Flamethrower. It's water. sealed. It it matches pretty good. Now it's safe. <laughs> Until we buy a safe. Yes. And I remember what... Everyone, it's right here. And I show everyone where it ah, is. Good, right good call. Because I definitely everyone was... Right next here. time you wanted to find it, you were definitely going to have to roll a disadvantage all for of, where it I'm was. I'm going to throw all of my Pokemon out. It's right here. <laughs> Every Silver, Silver Marina, right here. Yeah. We all see it's right here. Perfect. It's right here. Got it. I right take there. out my I take out my Porygon phone. Okay. Snap a picture of the corner. <laughs> okay, you're good. You you have done what you needed to do. Alright. What you guys doing? What time is it? Well that was what I did with my app. Yeah, so it's uh are the, uh, the other two, are you guys doing anything with uh, that last hour? Um no, because what I was planning on doing is like like Tyler did, was digging a hole in the floor and just putting my stuff. So I put it in his. So that's fine. Cool. Air, uh, is Silver doing anything in that last hour? I'm gonna be making working, a little kitchen. I'm gonna be working with um, Onyx and Mankey or Merida, um, and just kind of starting a um, a doorway into a room. Okay. Um, that's gonna be not a huge room, just a small just. Cutting out a doorway and then starting to work it out and around and then pushing it back a little bit so that that could that would be more like a ten by ten. Okay, they they can start working on something like that uh, in that that hour. Uh, yeah, they they start working on something like that. They've made a little indenture. It doesn't look clean in any way. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look livable. Uh, but there is currently a nice little hole going. Nice. Cool. Okay. So uh, check back. As you guys are doing that, you hear. We should probably we should probably go. Your reminder for seven fifteen. Meet yellow at pizza. All right. Let's go. Right. Recall my folks. Cool. So you guys uh, make your way back to ye old uh, Saffron City, and uh... Chilly, can we go ahead and say that every time we leave this place, we hide it? Yeah, you you that nat twenty last time was was good enough. Had you not made had you not rolled a natural twenty each time you did that, I was going to require it. But Eric rolled a nat twenty for covering it, so it's it's covered. So each time you guys leave it and hide it back, it it feels like you guys leave it pretty hidden. After... Hey, do you guys want to break into the department store thing at night? Or whatever that thing is? Yeah. Oh, the self <laughs> Yeah. We should definitely plan that out. I think they got some good stuff in there. Maybe we should ask Yellow if she wants to... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even want to break into the boat when potentially people were in danger. I will add, though, speaking of department stores, you all are aware that there is a giant department store in Celadon City which is 
down Route 7 from where your base is. The next is. place we're going. Yeah, maybe. If you want to go there, it's up to you. Yes. You guys I have free reign. You guys... Right, let's, uh, let's get to the pizza before uh, Yellow thinks we're ditching her again. Alright, so you guys... You guys get oh, in there? Okay. Yeah, it's where, Ericus. Uh, I thought it was the other one. No, 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 no. It is. Let me let me look up the name of this place. It is Raviola Pizzeria, and it's uh, as you guys learned from Yellow last time. It's a vegan pizza joint because uh, she's a vegan. The Charmander, blow the the. <laughs> yeah, it's a Charmeleon. Charmeleon. And I have one now. He heats up uh, <laughs> all the pizza places. Can Pokemon eat at this restaurant? Yeah. Okay, Charmeleon's gonna eat with. Okay. Uh, you guys walk in, and Yellow's already sitting at that same corner booth she had last time. Uh, she has she has a water in front of her, and there are four menus situated in front of you guys, and she's sitting there playing on her porry phone. What if we stood her up? No, but horrible. We're not. Why would I have called hey, Yellow? Oh, Yellow! Oh, hey guys, guys, guys! I, I got, I got, I got chairs over here. I checked my oh, phone. What time is it? Uh, it is 7.31. Ah, oh, so we're ah. right. I'll sit down. Okay. And... So, what what have you guys been up to? You guys best um, playing with a Pokemon? Oh. Took a walk down Doing some a training. Route. Took a walk down a route? Down route, uh, eight? No, uh... Route seven. nine? You were on route seven. If you want to lie to her, you can. You were on route seven. You just can't remember uh, what route. Oh, I know. I'm, that's why I'm telling you. You were on Route Seven, to the east yeah, of just, Saffron City is Route Eight. We just heard that there was some uh, nice little, you know, greenery out there, so we just went and played with the Pokemon out. Oh yeah, yeah. That that goes towards uh, Celadon City. I'm I'm planning to head there in a in a, in a couple days. Uh, really excited to sharpen the department store. Have you guys heard about uh, Celadon University? No, I've heard about Celadon University, Chandler. Uh, yeah, you guys, you guys have all heard about Celadon oh, University. Yes, it is the, it is really the each each town as we've discussed. Each town has a what you see on the map, the main area of the town, but there is always a living area. Uh, most towns tend to have schools in them for like uh, early grades of children and whatnot. But Celadon University is the premier university in the Kanto region. Uh, it is where the experts go to study, uh, and it is where uh, most people have, if they do decide to go to uh, to a university, typically that is where they go. Uh, very rarely do you have uh, Pokemon trainers attending university. Mostly it's, it's doctors, scientists. Uh, they have a, a police, uh, a law enforcement program there, uh, but rarely do trainers go there. Although they do have a trainer. Uh, a trainer uh, curriculum that you program. can't take. Yeah, program. Have you guys heard of it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. yeah it's, it's so cool. Uh, Erica, the uh, Celadon City gym leader, actually teaches a class there that, like, you can you can just go, like, audit. At, like, I think I think when I go there, I'm, I'm planning to go to the class. I'm really excited about it. Wow. What kind of things are you learning, though? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've heard she... She really just teaches about Pokemon. She's uh, mainly uh, grass Pokemon. That's her specialty. Oh, yeah. But but she tends to teach like about uh, a lot of different stuff. I think your boy will like that, Silver. Well, definitely. We'll be able to learn a lot. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. Get him, boy. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, the server walks up. Can can I get the. Just letting you know, uh, Leaf says in character every time I say "get him boy" or I make a boy reference. Hey, Leaf Pat, is actually doing that. Uh, Yellow gives you a, gives you a very quizzical look. Uh, yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take the the pineapple pizza. Do you guys want pineapple pizza too? I will not. No. Uh, Did we get last time silver? I'm getting pepperoni personal pizza. Would you say, Leaf? We got like the everything pizza last time, right? I kind of dug it. You want to get it the same? Yeah, we might as well. Oh, wait, no, no, server. Yeah. Server takes down wonderful. I'll, I'll put in your orders and I'll be back shortly. They walk off. So what, what have you been up to, Yellow? Were you just with that guy? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was. 
I, I mean, I was I was kind of waiting for you guys. I thought maybe you did guys. Did you get your bike? Receipt? No, I got the voucher. Yeah, I got the voucher. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna go after. Uh, I think I'm gonna go after I take on uh, Sabrina tomorrow. I'm gonna challenge Sabrina tomorrow, and then I think I'm gonna head up and uh, pick up my bike for Celadon. Nice. I think we had the same kind of general plan. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's that's cool. She seems to not care anymore. <laughs> I think we've. <laughs> this is out of character. I think we've worn her down. <laughs> I don't think want to be our friend anymore. I think because she's now her. we want to be her friend. I think you guys have you know not you know kind of ditched her a lot, all that. So she's she's well, you know she's becoming was a ma- last time was maybe an accident. Well, uh, go watch the video. It was like pretty pretty <laughs> on purpose. But we forgot. So how on purpose was it really? <laughs> I think that uh, just shows. <laughs> Yellow, any of your uh, Pokemon evolve? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, my uh, my uh, my Rattata has actually evolved into Eradicate. Wow, still two. Do what? What's its name? Ratty. Because you name all your Pokemon, right? Did you say Ratty out loud? No, I said Choo Choo. <gasps> no, did did Marina say Ratty out loud? Shoot, we don't know the name of our Pokemon. Did you? Did you say Ratty out loud? Yes. Dang it. <laughs> oh, yeah. How, how did you know I named him Ratty? We were, we were watching you battle in... Where did we watch her battle? Misty. We watched you battle Misty. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I do remember you guys being there. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, guys came in at the end of the battle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's cool. that, that's Ratty. That, that's my my Rattata. Uh, he revolved and he evolved into Eradicate. Uh, actually, while, after you guys left, I, I I was training on the route as I came up here since I ha- had some extra time with it on my hands. That's pretty cool. My yeah. Charmander evolved into a Charm uh, Melian. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's eating pizza next to you. I I can see him. Yeah, I'm just really Ooh. proud of him. Are you okay? Um... You seem to have a moment there. Are you feel alright? Also, my um, my Pidgey and my Pidgey evolved too. It's a Pidgeotto. Oh, oh, that's. Please, I need you to. I need you to tell me right now. Look me in the eye. Can you hear me? Are you feeling okay? I just. I'm trying to bond with Yellow because I feel like she hates me. That's really weird that you would say that while we're sitting here eating pizza. <laughs> I know. I have no restraint. That's. <laughs> Oh, no. oh good, 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 Sorry, good uh, time for the pizza to arrive. Honest, I feel like he might have had a slight stroke. Should you might want to take him to like a doctor? I've been inhaling char uh, charmeleons. <laughs> <months, laughs> I guess. <laughs> like I said, we've been training a lot. A couple of those smoke screens. Woo. <laughs> yeah, I yeah I. I... I guess so. I mean, I've taken a few electric shocks from uh, Choo Choo in the past, so. Is Choo Choo your Pikachu? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, Choo-choo. I love yeah. it. Oh, so is Choo Choo getting any chow? Oh, oh no, they, we we ate earlier. They're they're resting. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we we stopped by the Pokemon Center. They they have a nice like uh, Poke centric diet there, that's very specific to the Pokemon. Wow. Yeah. Wow, sick! Yeah, you you, can, you guys my would know that if you if you ever like investigated Pokemon Center. My uh, I'm like, just, just gonna eat pizza you know. with me. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm I'm sure. Does does he like pineapple on his pizza? We'll find out. Cool. All right. Uh, do you guys want to like keep doing this interaction? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, we eat, we pay. There you go. We could just say you, if Yellow, you guys don't have anything to say. Yellow, can I pay for you this time? No, that's like kind of weird. I just want to pay. Oh for no! Me. That's like, are you hitting on me? I think maybe. Oh. Maybe. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I appreciate it, but I'm just focusing on me right now. Oh, you Yellow. need to. Yellow, can I pay for you as a friend? No, I, I'm 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 like okay. I'm thanks though. <laughs> But uh, in Marina yeah. pay for you? Yellow. You're not. You guys, I pay for you? you guys aren't making this any better. You guys are like kind of like 
tripling down and that's like not not that great i this isn't this isn't great but we just listen, we just like you we are. as a person a lot yeah um oh yeah um yeah I'll, I'll take that yeah there you go there's oh sorry I, yeah guys i went ahead and paid uh, sorry paid. yeah sorry sorry. sorry sorry hey sir waiter come back can you take my my money uh, i'll be back in just one moment i uh, no please take my no, money right now just please. just one moment why can a waiter takes one at a time <laughs> And he goes, oh, you're right. And he turns around and he collects all your payments and he leaves. Pay this for the pineapple pizza. I'm paying for the pineapple pizza. And Yellow goes, no, I, I already gave him the money for that. I all the cards. Well, <laughs> we don't have, like, card currency here in the Pokemon world. We just have Poke Dollars. I preloaded all mine up into this card here. Did you not? No, I didn't know that was a thing that existed in this world. Yeah, you should you should stop by the Poke Bank. Oh, that's... Or the Poke ATM. You just they they mail it into a little card. You can have a direct deposit, but you can also get this little card that you can use and you can do that. Oh, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll have to look at Oh, oh, yep. All right. Well, I, I'll see you guys later. Yo, are you going to battle Sabrina tomorrow? Yellow, just curious if I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, she left. Sorry. Guys, I think I'm into yellow. Hate it. Guys, I think that yellow is bitching. I think I think that she's over trying to be our friend. I don't think she. I think that she doesn't know with us as we were with her. I think since she's playing hard to get now, I'm into her. <laughs> All right. Well, you're gonna have to shake that off, bud, because uh, we got a lot of work to do. I know. Do I know. Goals? Do you remember our goals? I yeah. That's why I'm very conflicted. Because, you know, Yellow with the big wrench in our team, shout out, Flur. Um, cannot, uh, in canon though, Chandler, uh, Leaf's attraction to Yellow does track. That's, yeah, that's fine. Remember the Mount Moon incident? That's true. <laughs> does track. That's true. Uh, yeah, man, she rolled real poor on that insight check of, uh, why you knew who Ratty was. Uh, man, I really Oof. wish that that could have been real bad for you, because you guys. But we did see it. She did use yellow and Missy Jim. Right? She did not, but she <laughs> rolled poorly, so she does not remember. I forgot. About but that. she I, did I not use Ratty. I thought as... I was showing her how much we care about her by remembering her Pokemon nope. name. <laughs> the only time Ratty has appeared in a battle that you guys have seen has been when you battled her in Mount Moon. This is when we are when we robbed her. Yep. This is one of those moments where it's like a, a creeper that stalks somebody, <laughs> knows information, and then thinks that providing that information to said person is going to be flattering. When in actuality, it's terrible. It's, it's okay. I'll I'll take one for the team. I think she when thinks kept, now that I'm obsessed with her. When you kept asking, I'm like, yeah, I say it out loud because that's isn't that the name? That'll make her think that we care. She's like, wow. You remember you remember Rattata's name? I forgot completely that the only time that we saw the Rattata was when we were undercover. Guys, maybe we should go back to avoid her. Can you? Uh, are, are you, are you able? able? I don't know if I'm able to, though, guys. Well, they, at least you told us, because at least you told us. All right, well, uh... well let's go to bed. Is the department store in this city or the next one? It's in Department Celadon. In the next one. That's this is Silco. the like, science center. That's, That's Silco. Do you guys want to uh, plan out a heist for tonight? In Silco, or do you think that's too big for us right now? I don't think we should do that with the love of my life in this city, because she will surely sure. catch us. Sure. Sure, sure. This but we can fight probably. tomorrow. Huh? We can fight Sabrina tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wonder why you want to do that. I just feel like Sabrina was kind of into silver last time we were with her. Um, would I get any read on that, Chandler? <laughs> Let me see if she was into you. I mean, I thought she was into me, so. Didn't Sabrina flirt? You want to for it, and then if I want to roll to see if I... Yeah, yeah, and then go ahead and roll a... Just roll a d20. Just roll a d20. No, no modifier. I feel like Sabrina was, like, hitting on silver. 
One second here. You know what it was? It was when I tell. Uh, it's when I told Ivy Boy to slam that guy into the. <laughs> yeah, that Just was it. <clears throat> uh, uh, you, you, you don't remember getting uh, getting like some flirting from her. You, you don't know. If, you, you don't feel. I mean, you didn't like talk to her enough. But well, uh, you know what? She was in your mind. She was in your mind. Wasn't she in all of our minds? Yep. That's how she knew your and names. Like on that logic, she was into all of us. Would she know the right. Shadow? Uh, we no. should go see her tomorrow. No, she didn't dig okay. deep enough for anything like that. She used the she used the spell detect thought. Yeah. And we would have to make a wisdom saving for her. Yeah, well, you, in you, my you, mind, you, all she hear was you would have had to have made a Constitution save if she would have went deeper than that. All you hear in my mind is. Is that what we hear? <laughs> so, do you guys go to bed? <laughs> yep. Okay. So. Uh, how much did you even like the pizza? How did you chart? Uh, let's see how you like the pizza. Roll for pizza? Uh, <laughs> yeah, roll for pizza. You, you, may, you, you roll. Uh, roll a constitution save for uh, Charmeleon. Oh, for Charmeleon? Why is it a constitution save? Plus zero? Uh, sure. No, I'm just... If that's what... Uh, yeah, you have it on the app. Oh. Uh, he enjoyed it. Oh, that's good. Good boy, return. <laughs> I'm gonna bond with Charmeleon before bed. Okay. I thought you were gonna say you are gonna go find Yellow. I'm, I'm going to... Take some time to bond with, um, let's see, we're going to get Sabrina. I feel like Onyx is probably going to be my guy because he's not, he's one of my few that aren't vulnerable to psychic. Okay. So I'm going to bond with Onyx just to give a little bit of extra. Um, I'm going to bond with my Ekin. Wait, okay. was this one? Um, whoa. Resistant to Psychic. Cool. Uh, so the ones you choose to bond with, they gain one point of inspiration, and they also get exactly. 10 uh, temporary hit points uh, until the Does next Does my time. loyalty with Charmeleon go up? Uh, doesn't seem like it. But it was this... It's been three times. It hasn't been three times. It's been twice. It's been twice. It's been enough. Didn't the other one? Actually, they, they did do twice, yes. So your loyalty with Trimelian does increase by one. Yes. Yeah, because that was the second time with with them. That's what I thought. That's what I was trying to do. So plus ten temporary hit points and inspiration. Uh, Eric, you bonded. You're bonding with Onyx, uh, and this is your first time bonding with Onyx. Yeah. Uh, and then Ariana, you're bonding with Ekans. No, I'm gonna bond Luminosa, my Eevee. Eevee. Good uh, choice. Eric, choice. Uh, your Onyx uh, also becomes loyal because this is your second time bonding with yeah. Onyx. It is my second time. I just looked through because I when I said it, it didn't sound right. Yeah, so, uh, cool. Just keeping uh, track of all of this so that way I do remember this going forward because this is very important to keep track of. Cool, so you guys have a pretty uh, restful sleep uh, and you, uh, you wake up the next day. It's uh, morning. Every and you, what do you guys want to do? Um, uh, is it late enough that the gym is open, or is it not? Close? Uh, yeah. I mean, you guys can like chill around until the gym opens. Chandler, I'm gonna teach Rock Smash to Charmy. Okay. You uh, you got that TM from uh from P Brock in Pewter City. Uh, so uh, the, yeah, Charmeleon can learn that. 
So now we know it's Dragon Rage, Rock Smash, Scratch. What's the last Actually, no, he's not gonna learn. He's gonna uh, smoke screen instead of sm uh, scratch. Okay. Cool. Really? Yeah, we're trying to think of what Luminoso should turn in. Luminous. Luminosa. It's an A, it's a girl. Luminosa. Luminosa should uh, evolve into or change into for the psychic type of uh, gem. I always like Jolteon. Jolteon is pretty cool. My Jolteon is green because it's shiny. That is true. You do have shiny. shiny. Uh, I have only given you. A shiny Eevee in your journal. Uh, I have not given you the others. Uh, so don't worry about that. Just It'll just be Eevee, and I'll add that later. That's fine. Uh, but you'll, um, know, so it, you'll know that it's a Jolteon. Does uh, having a shiny do anything other than just the rarity and the awesomeness? No, it just makes it look a little different. I figured... What if it was, you know, some kind of initial advantage because the Pokemon and trainers have, haven't seen them before or something? No, no. Typically, it, it's it's just just it looks different. Just an amazement. Yes. Cool. So, what are you guys doing? You guys wake up the next day, go downstairs, get a little breakfast. Uh, you don't see Yellow down here. She's avoiding you. Look at we've look what we've done. <laughs> no, she's uh, just uh, not. That. We're waking up in the pokey center. Uh, uh, I'd like to. Do... We can change it, Leaf. We can change it. <laughs> I know. I know. One day. One, it'll be one me, day. Champion of the Kanto region, and by my side, Yellow. Oh, so you're my gonna take a higher health. Her Pikachu. Okay, so you're gonna do it all by yourself, and then reward no, yellow. I'll be champion, and you guys will be like the two of the elite four, right? We'll see when we get there. So we, we, we have time. So we have regardless, time. So we're not gonna say anything, but he's just gonna keep walking and shrug and be like, eh, "That's fine." <laughs> Listen, one of us is becoming champion, and the other three of us are elite four members. So I will say, Silver is going to look around and see. Because Yellow uh, mentioned some kind of like mentioned the stones. Um, or what, what did I hear her say the about um, the Pokemon? Or not the Pokemon? The uh, Pokestop. Food. Pokestop. So oh, inside the Pokemon Center, there is a dining yes. area which sells food for Pokemon as well as for people. Uh, I'm going to go over there and see if there's anything that Onyx particularly might like. I want to uh, check it out as well. You can, Jolteon. You can Luminosa. buy any type of berry from this uh, from this place. Uh, so if you have the uh, the 5e handbook uh, for Pokemon, and if you go to page... What page is this on? Uh, I, I, I have a, 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 a to-do list to make up these handouts for you guys. You just haven't done it yet. Uh, page 23... Uh, has every uh, berry that you can buy. Uh, ignore all of the Pokemon Go berries. Which actually, actually, the Pokemon Go berries aren't bad because they have the raspberry in it. It just gives you a plus one to catching it. So yeah, uh, page twenty three on the five E handout. All uh, berries that are there can be purchased here. Uh, every time, tips, tips. All of them are a. Typically 200 uh, Poke Dollars. Uh, a couple of them are 500. The most expensive Poke Berries are $1,000. Those are typically uh, the ones that are going to assist you. Uh, such as uh, one of them, the, the Greppa Berry, permanently lowers the Pokemon Wisdom score by 2, but raises loyalty by 1. So you can buy some berries that uh, increases your loyalty a little faster, but you do take a penalty for doing so. But I'll eventually I'll, I'll have these handouts ready for you guys. I just have it finish them yet. Just like the marked handouts I'll get as well. Um, I'm going to write a couple down that I'm going to buy. Actually, you know what? Not that button. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to buy a Hayapa fairy. Okay. 
Uh, let me open up paint. Cherry berry. Cherry. I'll actually have a temporary one for you guys right now that I can open. Cool. I just took a quick screenshot from the uh, from it and made a quick handout for you guys with what it looks like, just so you guys had it there for you. Uh, all players. Save changes. Show to players. Oh, well, that didn't. Berries. Berries. There are no berries in there. Someone ate all the berries. There we go. There are all the berries. I think I found my berries. Just so you guys can see them in there, all the berries are held up right there. Yeah. And that's Just everything they have. Yeah. The berry broth. So anything... Ask for left a berry or a berry Anything loop. you want to buy, you can, and you can just uh, subtract it out and put it into your inventory. Yeah. Um, I'm going to buy a Lepa, a Parism, a Loom, and a Piyapa. Ooh, fun berries. Sweet! Oh, weed. Oh, I did not mean to make it pop back up on all of your screens again. No, I did. Sweet, so what do you guys uh, want to do? Are we still buying berries? Let's go bat. Let's uh, let's go battle Sabrina. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You head up there. You head up to the gym. She said that we actually. Do we want to pop in to our old pal? See how he's doing first. I think they're still sure. buying berries. If you guys are, it's fine. So after buying your berries, uh, you guys head towards the gym, or are you guys stopping off somewhere else first? I want to pop in and see our boy. All right, yeah, as you pop in, you guys kind of open the door, uh, and as you do, uh, you guys, uh, Master Blake is uh, sat at the table. He has some papers spread out in front of him, and he is uh, riding away. And as you guys, well, you, oh, hey, guys, what's up? Master Blake. Hey, how are you? How are my favorite people doing? Doing great. How's our future official gym leader? Oh, Oh my gosh! Oh, guys, <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been I've been drawing up some plans to 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 make this place look as best I can. I'm actually, I you guys actually, I'm just about to leave. I'm actually uh, heading over to uh, to sell it on City for a couple days uh, to uh, to to get some ordering done, uh, in person shopping done at the department store uh, to get a few things for the gym. <laughs> I'm thinking oh, I'm thinking like a nice big screen TV over there would look really cool. That way, anyone can like watch the battles, have like a camera set up, uh, just like like oh, yeah. like the other gyms have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe uh, maybe you should look into look into a loan to expand the building a little bit. Ooh, ooh, maybe ooh. you know. And, and here's the thing: as a gym leader, that'll pay itself off real quick. You're you're right. Maybe a waterfall. Like a small waterfall, like in like a like huge like, waterfall. Yeah, <laughs> like a like uh, uh, but, you know but how? I'm, but I'm, I but I use fighting Pokemon. No, 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 no. But listen, you know how cool it is to have like, you know, like those balance things that balance Pokemon like balance on. Oh, oh you're yeah, balancing yeah, yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Above, yeah. Above, above like a pit, and the pit is full with water, and like if you look at it from like, uh, trainer on this uh -huh, side, uh -huh, trainer, uh -huh. you you Master Blake on this side challenger on this side you're raised up a little bit because you're obviously in power in the situation pit tons of these stakes everywhere that they have to fight over and in the background backdrop for this whole thing giant waterfall make a persuasion check with advantage i don't know what my persuasion is that's why you should keep your character sheet on you let's just say because i feel like shoot a nine but he's advantage, advantage. 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 I did. Oh, I rolled did. a seven. I don't know. That 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 sounds sounds really cool, but that just uh, that's like, what if I fall in the pit like mid battle? You won't fall in the pit. Your Pokemon are perfect. Uh, but I'll I'll think about. It. I th I like it. I maybe like not, it. I like maybe it. Maybe not like a big. 
Think about it. Think um, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. But that loan to be able to do whatever you want and make this place look real top notch. That's true. That's true. And can I say something, Master Blake? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. We're we're all in this together, right? We're all f yeah, 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 yeah. So I just want to make sure that if anyone approaches you, like anything at all, approaches you, you call us, okay? Like, 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 oh. like what? Like if someone like tries to like rob me? Yeah, like maybe like a bad organization or like some bad people, maybe some bad lawyers trying to give you some bad business advice. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, said the person giving bad business advice. Just call <laughs> us first. Since we're all in this together. Like I, yeah. like we're. I, I, uh, I, I. You have a number, right? No. Here's my number. All right, and he, he takes out. You guys put the Porygon phones together. They exchange their number. He goes, "Sweet, yeah, 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 absolute, absolutely." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all of you, yeah. make, all of you, make perception checks for me. Oh boy, it's never good when Chandler asks for perception. No, oh, it's it can be good. Four. It can be good, but we roll horribly. Ah, ah. Uh, Tyler, you're <laughs> Tyler. You are very distracted by the conversation you're having, and uh, Marina is also just like watching this interaction very quizzically. But air, uh, but Silver. While they're looking, you're kind of just, like, looking around the gym. Uh, directly, so, like, if the gym is, the trainer stands on this side, trainer stands on this side, the entrance is over here, the far wall when you first walk in, you kind of can barely see it, and you kind of, like, take a little bit of a step closer. There is uh, the, 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 the selfie that he took of, the, uh, or not the Aww. selfie, because Yellow took it, the photo of all four of you in a frame hanging on the wall over there. And his eyes are closed. And his eyes are closed, yes. <laughs> but that is hanging there. All right, why don't we take, tell him we can retake the picture? What now? To so ask him if he wants to redo the picture. Hey, so I know that last time we uh, we took a picture together. Yeah. Uh, do you want to take that? Because oh. I know your eyes are closed. Uh, oh, w would you? Heck yeah, There's my one. guy! Really who's to. who's gonna who's gonna hold the phone? Oh, Charmeleon! Oh, dude, you got a Charmeleon? Oh my yeah, gosh, he that's just so cool! My guy. Uh, uh, here you go, Charmeleon. You just press that button right there, and Charmeleon right, goes. Charme Charmeleon, see if <laughs> Charmeleon just press that button, my dude. Charmeleon <laughs> can do it. He he rolled. Okay, so yes. you guys get together. Charmeleon takes a photo. Do you want to hold mine? But I mean, if you want to. Get uh, your hit on me and hit on Chan out, Blake. Oh, boy, oh he, yeah, yeah, And he goes, go! And they both appear, and then he's like, all right, all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to go back to back with with um, Kadabra. Okay, 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 okay. I'm holding uh, right. Boy, right. Ivy Boy up like this. I'm ready! Chick oh, I think I blinked. Oh. Can we do one more? Here. Let's check. Well, let's check first. Charmeleon, can I see the picture? Uh, Charmeleon. Uh, he shows it to you. Uh, his his eyes are open, but they're also like strained up. They're like, like. All right, that. let's take let's take another one. But relax, time. We're all buds. We're all friends. Okay. Charmeleon, you're doing great. I love you. You're such a sweet boy. You're you're a precious angel. Boom. All right, here we go. Charmeleon, uh, takes the photo. Photo's fine. Photo's fine. This time. He looks good. How about this one? Cadabra, return. And he he takes the phone and he's like, this is. This is really great. <laughs> oh, bud, you guys. gotta cry. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys are so nice to me. No You're my favorite boy. No one's ever been this nice right. to me before. Is he a boy or is he a man? Well, you deserve it, master. You are a master. And uh, Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee come over and like start hugging him and like like patting him on his back. It looks like they they have consoled him many a time before. <laughs> wow. I'm sure, well, Master Blake. You have a good time in Celadon City. Oh, what's something uh, something I didn't think of before. You know what you should do? What, what's that? When you're in Celadon City, uh, why don't you sit in on uh, one of um, uh, Jim Luder, uh What's her name? Erica. Erica. Erica's class. Yeah. Jim Erica's class. They let you do it for free, and it actually is yeah. very informative. 
I like yeah, that. You, I like that you guys are also turn, trying to turn his gym into your own secret team rocket gym, and you're also trying to make him a better gym leader, just like Josh. And he, you know what? I, 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 I never, I never thought about that before. I, I think I will do. I, I'll give that a try. And you know and how it works. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do anything, <laughs> Master. You guys are the best. And he gives you all another hug. And he goes, all right, I uh, oh, I think we're going to get good. Return. And he returns his Pokemon. I'm assuming he's very inspired right now. Oh, he is super inspired. He is <laughs> he is super inspired. And uh, he, like, walks out with you guys. He locks up the Fighters Dojo. Uh, puts a, On the inside, there's, like, a sign that says... It's, like, a really, like, poor-looking, like, gone, uh, gone fishing. But it, it says... Uh, uh, God shopping, be back soon, uh, and and it says uh, the unofficial gym of Saffron City on it. Uh, so yeah, and then there's like a little phone number you can call to like uh, so that way you can like uh, schedule a battle. Yeah, um, can I? Uh, I'm a, okay. Is this phone number to the phone that is inside of the gym? <laughs> <laughs> It's, Probably. It's, it's not the phone number he just gave you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Master Blake. All right. I am assuming at this point. Uh, let's, um, I guess, are we ready? Uh, let's uh, take on Sabrina. Let's take on Sabrina. And he goes, uh, yeah, uh, good luck. Good luck. I, I know you guys will get it. Uh, I'll see you. I'll see you later. And uh, he starts making his oh, yeah. way uh, towards Route 7. Guys, oh, we're still wearing the little um the badges he made us. Oh, absolutely, yeah. If you if you're still wearing, wearing them, and like he, he seemed like very happy. Like he he's he's having a great day. We mm. should find Master Blake a secretary. You know what? That's not a bad idea. What about Yellow? I think she. Mm, well, I don't know. She needs to be a four member so I can keep an eye on her. Hate it. Uh, are oh. you? Which, which that makes doing? me uncomfortable, Leaf. That makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah, a little bit. So you guys uh, head in? Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. So as you guys walk in, uh, you, you know, you've noticed most gyms, uh, Kanto gyms, are pretty have they have a similar structure. Uh, most of them are made uh, governed by the uh, the Pokemon League. All of them tend to have the same entrance. Uh, with their the little secretary desk with a TV showing the gym leader. And when you do walk in, you see a similar thing. There is a desk there. Uh, there is the TV screens showing what looks like a very uh, standard gym room. Uh, it doesn't. There's nothing special about it like uh, Misty's gym uh, or anything like that. There's no water. It's just a stadium floor. Uh, and Sabrina is leaned up against... Or she is... Sabrina is uh, sitting on the desk... Uh, kind of facing you guys, uh, legs crossed as you guys walk in, and she goes, "Oh, welcome! Are you here to challenge today?" We sure are. Wonderful. Uh, just like I told you guys, you guys, uh, you guys really did did a number uh, on Lieutenant Surge, uh, saving me. I, uh, I, I honestly uh, can think of no better to repay than with a gym badge. But per Pokemon League rules, I cannot just freely give it to you. So. I have decided to make things a little easier on you, and bending the rules. Each of you can submit one Pokemon for today's battle, and I will be submitting three Pokemon. Uh, the three of you will take on my three Pokemon, and should the three of you defeat my three, you all will each earn the my uh, soul badge. Right. Sounds like a plan. Sounds tight. Wonderful. Would we, uh, would we have uh, just a few minutes before the battle starts to kind of uh, talk to our individual Pokemon oh. and kind of push them a little bit? Absolutely. Whenever you are ready to do, just walk in right from that door over there. And you guys look to the uh, left of the desk, uh, and a door slowly swings open. As you turn back to the desk, Sabrina is gone. I think wow. Sabrina's a ghost. You know, well, I'm going to... Alien. What are you guys using? I was planning on using Onyx. I was planning on using Jolteon. Luminous. Alright. We got a we got a wide range of attacks. 
Um, so if we, what I'm planning on once we go in, go in, getting on our side of the battlefield, kind of letting Onyx out, and then I'm planning on talking to him and maybe giving him a clear. Cool. You guys, yeah. you guys are still in the lobby. Just let me know when you when you head in. Um, so we've already registered with the secretary, done all that? No, there is no secretary. Oh, that's right. Okay. I think I'm ready. Where did the secretary go that was here? There wasn't one. Oh, well, there was one here the other day. She just, she, yeah, she there. isn't here. She was very frazzled. She was very Go. frazzled. Do what? She was a ghost. Uh, make an intelligence check. Was she? Natural 20. You can probably, from from everything that Sabrina has said to you, uh, you feel as if what she is doing today is a very gray area as far as Pokemon League rules are concerned. So she maybe asked the secretary to come in later in the day so that way there is no one here to see the fact that she's letting you challenge 3v1. As it is oh. not Pokemon standard rule, League standard rules for this battle she is about to have. I'm going to let gotcha. everyone know that gotcha. it was, it's a cooperation. All right. <laughs> I'm going to let everyone know that the secretary we saw the other day was a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> she, was a, she was a ghost. How do you, how do you know? It's just the vibe I got off of her. I'm going to say, Leaf, you shouldn't say things if you don't know they're true. I know a lot of things are true. Just like I know that Master Blake is going to be the world's best gym leader that's a fact <laughs> fact number two our base is popping fact number three our base is me, me and yellow will get married one day those are three <laughs> true facts i think you're just a little delusional just a little i think i need to stop using a smoke screen let's uh let's, let's head on in I, I don't know if this is the time for this conversation it's getting a little weird cool so uh has is the yellow here Yellow is not here now. Uh, well, well. As the three of you uh, leave the lobby and walk into the room, uh, you see uh, it is a, a very uh, normal-sized room, uh, four walls. Uh, in the middle of the room is a table. On the table is a Pokeball. On one of the walls, there is a portrait of Sabrina. And on the other wall, a mirror. As you step into the room and walk towards the table, you turn around and see the door you came through is gone. Interesting. Well, um... Something seems off. Don't touch it, Leaf. Don't touch the Pokeball. Take the Pokeball. <laughs> uh, it is a... You pick it up. It is a normal Pokeball. Nothing is the me is the mirror across from the portrait? Uh, yes. I How walk over to the mirror and do the pose that Sabrina's doing. Uh, Sabrina in the portrait is sitting cross-legged on the ground. She has do one that. hand to her uh, temple, and she looks to be in a meditative pose. I do that. Nothing happens. I crack the code, guys. <laughs> Everyone come do this. Uh, I'm going to pull uh, Onyx out quickly and say, All right, man. Uh, when you go to reach for your Pokeball uh, uh, and you go to send it out, nothing happens. We've been robbed. What's, what's going on? Sabrina! Did she, not, she did say that I could do this, right? Sabrina! Come on. We have to, we have to pass her test before we can... Enough fight. of this. Did Enough you, of uh, this. Did you try and um, send out whatever's in that Pokeball? Is there anything is else? The in the Pokeball? It is an empty Pokeball. Empty. Here, try to get in the silver. I throw it at silver. You throw it at silver. It pops off his head, drops to the ground, <laughs> opens, and nothing happens. Well, that didn't work. Did she just? Did she just steal all our Pokemon and then lock us in here? I'm gonna look at my Pokeball with Jolteon in it, but I'm not gonna like open it. I'm just gonna look in it. Is is she there? No. It's, oh. not, it's just an empty Pokeball. It's okay, guys. Master Blake will come save us. Leaf. 
What else is in the room? Really uh, there is the table that the Pokeball was sitting on. There is the mirror, as well as the portrait of Sabrina. That's it? That is all that you see. Does the portrait move? Uh, make uh, an investigation check, or a perception check. Perception. Ten. Uh, portrait seems pretty normal. Silver's gonna go look at the mirror. Uh, make uh, an investi- or make a perception check as well. Okay. What was that? Six. Uh, as you start to uh, look into the mirror, you uh, walk up and you and you look and you see see someone devilish, devilish, devil devilishly <coughs> handsome, kind of fix your hair. I look really good belief. today. No, it's oh. it's it's silver. He sees he sees his reflection. Uh, hey guys, you know what? Maybe she just uh, maybe she got a little nervous. I mean, come on, come on. You're right. You are very handsome, Silver. I throw a pokeball at both of them. Silver, <laughs> silver, I have a question for you. You don't have any feelings for yellow, do you? No, no. Great, good. Just wanted to check. No, um, we're friends. Me and yellow are friends. Just friends, good. Just friends. Now I look over at Marina. <laughs> Guys, I'm not I'm I'm not sure what to do. Are there any of the floorboards loose? Are any of the <laughs> is there any secret passageways in the walls? Are there ceiling tiles? Uh are you checking all of the walls? I'm checking everything, Chandler. Uh make an investigation check. Fourteen. Uh, as you check the far wall, you run into something. Not sure what it is. Uh, it's taller than you, and it's about, uh, as you're, like, going down the wall, you just, you kind of reach up, and you can feel something. As you reach around, you kind of, like, go past it and hit the wall behind it, and you go down and you feel another side of it. Go down and you feel something. You go up and you feel something. There's definitely something here. You just can't see it. Sabrina. <laughs> uh, no. It uh, it's it, it it's a flat surface. Hey guys, I think so this is something, but you know my my investigation skills aren't that great. <laughs> uh, Eric, make another perception check with advantage. Natural 20. Uh, as you're staring there, looking at yourself in the mirror, uh, you hear Marina start talking about that she's found something. And you kind of do that thing where, like, when you're looking in a mirror, you kind of just look to the side to, like, see what's going on behind you. And you, you see Marina. She's just, like, running her hands across a bookcase. And she's just, she, like, is feeling a bookcase. And, like, she's like, there's something here. And you're like, yeah, it's a bookcase. And then, uh, okay, uh, and then I look around, I look behind me, and I see that there's nothing. She is just touching the wall and, like, stopping her hand halfway down. There's there's something here. Hey, 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 hold on a second. Look at this, look at this mirror. There's, there's something, you're hitting a bookcase, So but there's nothing there. I'll put my hand on, uh, lean, and look, and like. You see her, you see in the mirror the bookcase, and you are leaning on it, uh, on the, uh, the bookcase, all the shelves are completely empty, except the middle case, there is a pedestal sitting on it. Wait. Take it off. So, what does the room look like through it, the mirror? It does not move. Uh, the room looks the exact same through the mirror, except it also has a bookcase in it. Leaf, give me the Pokeball. Give me. Uh, Silver has it. Leaf, Silver, what? Who? Uh, yes. <laughs> Silver. Uh... I hand it to her. And I put it on the pedestal. Uh, as you put the Pokeball onto the pedestal, it depresses, scoots in, and then the bookshelf becomes visible to all of you as it slides out of the way, opening up a door. Wow, That's we right. The Who's a psychic Pokemon trainer? It's me. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. <laughs> I think it was me who found the bookshelf in the mirror. I stabbed it. I think it was me that walked over to this mirror and threw a Pokeball at you, so we all contributed. I just dab again. 
All right. Well, um, let's uh, through the corridor. Uh, as you guys uh, pass through the little door that the bookshelf has revealed to you guys, you find yourself in a, another room. Uh, directly across from you, there is a door. Uh, surrounding the door are uh, four unlit lights. And to the left of the door, you see uh, the symbol for uh, grass, the symbol for fire, and on the other side of the door, you see the symbol for water and the symbol for electric. I'm just gonna take our Pokemon. Is there anything else in this room? There's nothing it's, it's else in this room. Just, it's as just you, symbols on the wall. As you say that, you look back to your. At you say she took all of her Pokemon. And you look down, and you now see your Jolteon inside your Pokeball. Is it just markings on the wall, or is it like an insert? Uh, it feel? looks it, it looks like a like a nice. Uh, it's not like painted on the wall. It is something hanging on the wall, but it looks attached to the wall. But it's not like an insert, like where you'd place something on it. Okay. But think of like a, a painting on, or think of like a. Uh, like a, a wood carving of it that's kind of like been nailed to the wall, kind of like that look. Okay. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. Let's each pull out a Pokemon, or one of us will have to pick out two, that matches this symbol. Do not use the Pokemon you want to battle, or I don't know if we're going to keep them if something happened. Okay. So I pull out... Um... I'll, I'm gonna pull out Ivy Boy and go up to the grass type. I'll get Pikachu and Squirtle and do the water and electric. Okay. I'll use Vulpix. Okay. Yeah, just stand there. Uh, uh, they I'm use their attacks on the target. I'm gonna put it against. What was that time? Sim- uh, Vulpix will use Ember on the fire target. Uh, as you go, oh. Vulpix Ember, it sends out its fire, and you look over one of the one of the lights next to the door, turns on. Awesome. We gotta attack him. All right, Squirtle. Water gun, Pikachu, Thunder Shot. As they both go, Ivy Squirtle, boy, Squirtle, Pika, Ivy Boy. They hit it, and the uh, four <laughs> lights uh, light up around the door. Ivy Boy, whip and it! And you hear a click. <laughs> that was the easiest puzzle in the world. Return Volta. All right, all right, let me stab it. Yeah. What you doing? Go through the door. Uh, Continue. Leaf, as you open the, you put your hand on the door. As you pull open the door inward, you see beyond the door, Sabrina is sitting. Uh, you see the gym that you saw from the camera outside on the screen. Sabrina is sat on the far side, with her legs crossed in a meditative pose, with her hand up to her temple. As you start to walk towards the doy, door, your reflection appears on the other side and walks towards you. As you meet at the center of the door. You run straight into your reflection and cannot pass. Put my hand. Your the the reflection matches you, and you can feel something. You don't feel like skin, but you feel as if you what you would feel if you were touching a mirror. Like you feel a reflection, uh, but you can see through to the other side that Sabrina is sat there. Is there anything else in the room? You're still in the room you're, you were just in. You guys just lit that up, oh. and you went to open the door that leads, uh, presumably, into the gym ch- into the gym room. Break it. Uh, as it, it, what do you do? Um. Oh well, I still have Squirtle and Pikachu, so I'll I'll, I'll call back Squirtle, and Pikachu, Thunder Shock that mirror. Pikachu goes, Pikachu! Thundershot goes whoosh, straight through the door. Hits on the far side of the other room. And you actually see Pikachu so, standing in front of the door. There is no reflection of Pikachu. Sabrina! sits unmoving uh, about probably about 15 to 20 feet because through this door you see the straight through the middle of it they over here is where the gym trainers were typically stay stay and similar to the uh, 
to uh, Master Blake's room instead of there being a photo hanging there on that side of the far gym is where Sabrina sits on a pillow. All right, guys, I guess let's uh, go to our side of the, the field and... Uh... You cannot be... If you go to try to pass through the door, your reflection appears and you run into your reflection. Oh, that's what you Does anything happen when I do this? Your reflection copies you. <laughs> so we can't get through this door and it's the only thing that we see. I don't have any, any magic. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have Vulpix walk through the door. Vulpix walks through the door. And you see Vulpix walks, walks through the door, gives the other side, turns back to you. Vulpix. Vulpix, you see oh. anything in there? Vulpix. Great. Come back, Vulpix. You're great. I love you. Walks back through the door. Starts licking your uh, leg. No, you should keep return. <laughs> Pokemon can go through this door. Yeah. I turn myself into a Pokemon. Do what? Turn myself into a Pokemon. Mm, doesn't that you can't turn yourself into a Pokemon, unfortunately. Wild shape. Uh, it's unfortunately not a thing in Pokemon Five E. Uh, Bill did it. Uh, he did it on accident. He he couldn't do it at will. You should have sent Volpix in to lick Sabrina's face and throw her concentration. Um, should we just throw our battle Pokemon in and see if that's how we have to battle from back behind here? I'll, um, I'll send Onyx in if he can fit through. Do you, like, throw throw the Pokeball through and then him appear, or, like, uh, pull him out next to you? Um, I was hoping to pull him up next to us if there was enough room. I mean, he would probably fit in this room, but... Onyx isn't fitting through that door. He wouldn't fit through the door. So try throwing the Pokeball. But then I lose the Pokeball and I can't return. Can I grab the other Pokeball or is that room gone? <laughs> the, the, that, the door is still there. You can go back into another room. The Pokeball that's in there is uh, still sitting on the pedestal. You also have like just Pokeballs in your inventory that are empty. That's true. Right, but I don't want to waste one. Come on. I mean, it's not going to break if you throw it. And don't, they only break if you attempt to capture a Pokemon with it. Right, so I could pick up later, maybe. Hey, Bree, any hint? Alright. So is is that to... what you call Sabrina? Bree? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw Onyx in there. Alright, so as you, you stand in front of the door, you take the Pokeball out, you pull back your arm, your uh, the reverse of you copies it. As you go towards the door, the Pokeball leaves your hand, travels through the door, pops onto the other side, and Onyx appears on the other side of the gym. And as the reflection pulls its hand back, it no longer has a Pokeball in its hand either, still continuing to reflect you. And Onyx is on the other side. Onyx. Onyx, is there anything uh, special in that room? Onyx. Entomb Sabrina. Ooh. Don't do that. Onyx, uh, throw a rock in the corner. Onyx uh, gets rock, throws it into the corner. And uh, it kind of hits the corner, or it goes, and right as it's about to hit the wall, it freezes in midair and slowly comes to the ground and stops on the ground. And as you, right, you follow the eyes back, Sabrina puts her hand back in her lap. All right, uh, let's come back. And I'll return them with one of my other balls. Comes back over, you pick your ball out. And you have a turn on. Is there anything else in this room, Chandler? Uh, make an investigation check. I have that already. Yeah, no, but I just want him to. I just want to like let him feel like he's doing something. Fifteen. Uh, you you see the the four symbols. You see four lights on the door. Uh, I'm gonna have Vulpix use fire on the leaf symbol. Okay. 
Uh, as he does that, uh, he's fire on it. The uh, light that was turns off. And you hear a okay. click, and you look, and where the door uh, the door handle would have connected, a lock has pulled out into the door, but there is no door there to catch it, so now there's just a lock out. So you have seemingly relocked the door had the door been closed. That just seems like it's gonna... It's just a locking mechanism. It doesn't seem like it has anything... It doesn't seem to be a special order we need. This is a hard puzzle. Do we need to put all of our our types in this room? Try anything. Like the fire, water, grass, and electric in the room? Since Pokemon can walk in? I mean, you already had all of those Pokemon out in this room. Yeah, but this is... Seemingly what you have gathered is your Pokemon, your items, can pass through the door... But you cannot, for you are being reflected back. All of you. Oh, I'm, I'm going to turn around. Okay. And I'm going to try to walk through the door. You pass through the door. <gasps> you did. Don't look at yourself. You could just walk through if you don't look at yourself. So I'll do that. You turn All around, right. you look away from your reflection, and you walk backwards through the door and pass into the gym. And I'll do the same. You do Dab that as well. Me. You turn around, looking away from your reflection and back into the room. As you do, you, you're, all of your heads kind of... and you refocus, and you're looking back through the door you just passed through into the lobby of the gym. And behind you, you hear... And as you turn around, Sabrina is sitting on the pillow on the far side, and she goes, Congratulations, you passed the test. And as you look to the corner, where you had Onyx throw a rock, there is no rock. There is nothing. Seemingly, this all took place inside your minds. And that's where we'll be. <laughs> and she goes, wonderful, you, uh, you, you have solved the, uh, the psychic puzzle. Wonderful. It's uh, just a fun thing I like to do to uh, make sure that those who are challenging me are truly worthy of the battle. So, shall we begin? Let's yeah. do it, Bree Bree. I'm going to throw out Onyx and... Um... I'm going to talk to him for a minute and toss him a uh, Payapa Berry. It's two new mons, everyone. Mr. Mime and Drowsy. You, uh, Sabrina, yeah. on the other side, throws out... She walks to her other side, stands there, tosses out three Pokeballs. An, uh, an Alakazam appears, a Mr. Mime appears, and a Hypno appears. So... We're at 60 mons! The Payapa Berry, that you take back to... It's only take half damage off of one psychic attack, right? Uh, yes, it it that it would be used after that. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a play off the there. Yeah, so it would activate when you get hit with that type of move. Uh, you take half damage, and, and basically the Pokemon eats the berry. Right. Then I will give that to um, Luminosa as well. Cool. I'm gonna grab a glass of water real quick after that puzzle. Can I use my Pokédex three psychic? You use your Pokédex for what now? Uh, to see their weakness. Oh yeah, yeah. go ahead and make uh, an intelligence check with advantage using your Pokédex. As you guys uh, come in, she chooses her Pokémon, and the three of you have uh, just for reference down the Charmeleon. line. Guilty on. Honest. Sweet. Uh, so she stands over there. There is no uh, referee. Uh, and she goes, wonderful. Uh, whichever the three of you would like to go first, go right ahead. Uh, I'll go first. Yes. I figured you might. No, you didn't. <laughs> Charmeleon, Go! Um, and then when she finishes saying that, he's gonna, he's gonna uh, Silver's gonna look up and say, "Do we, do we have like a connection back on the boat?" Think so, um, man. Think so. Not that I know of. Okay, I didn't think so either. I was checking. Yes. 
Sabrina, uh, okay. we'll talk after. Yes. I do have some battles scheduled later today, so maybe the quicker the better. Okay. What did I get on my Pokédex? You never told me. What? You know, I rolled a 16 earlier oh, for my Pokédex. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, so, you know uh, that Alakazam is vulnerable to Bug, Ghost, and Dark, and resistant to Psychic and Fighting. Uh, the same ho uh, for Mr. Mime, you know that he is resistant to Psychic and Fighting, vulnerable to Ghost, Steel, and Poison, and immune to Dragon. Uh, and you know that Hypno is uh, vulnerable to Bug, Ghost, Dark, and resistant to Psychic and Fighting. All right. Can't miss, I can't fight Mr. Mime. So, Silver, what do you do? Did we say that out loud? You can't fight Mr. Mom? Uh, yeah. yeah, so I would say he pulled out his Pokedex, and you, you he didn't say it, you heard his Poke Pokedex say it, uh, anime style. Alakazam, the psychic Pokemon, vulnerable to... Right. All right, and then like... Onyx is going to move forward, and I'm going to say, Onyx, rock throw at that Mr. Mime. Ah, uh, throw at that Mr. Mime. Rolling at the Mr. Mine. Uh, let me get this. We'll first so I can see. Um, and rolling at Mr. Mine. Uh, and that's, oh, net 20. There you go. Ooh, uh, that misses. Wow. I'm that just, <laughs> go ahead and roll damage. Okay, that is. Oh, Watch Eric just murder Mr. Mime in the first turn. 30, 30, the, the, the damage. Uh, and that is uh, rock damage, correct? Yes. Was he resistant when, did I hear, hear that? Uh, not to rock types, no. I okay, I didn't think so. No, I was just curious. Wonderful. Uh, so, uh, with that, you, you pick up uh, Onyx goes in, picks up a rock, throws it. Mr. Mime goes, Mr. Mime goes, and starts, like, trying to build a wall, and then it just hits him. Ugh. And he uh, steps back up, and he... Uh, cool. Uh, who's up next? I'll go. Cool, go for it. All right, Luminosa, get on up there. I'm gonna go. Jolteon! And just takes off at a dash. Um... Well, it doesn't say Jolteon. It says Shiny Jolteon, and it takes off at a dash. <laughs> and I'll, I'll I'll put in the uh, shiny variants of all the evolutions into your uh, journal for uh, for. I can time. go. Okay, I can go forty feet. So yeah. I'm gonna no, no, no. I'm gonna go. Yep. Yes. Yes. Um. Minosa, use Thunder Shot. You <laughs> know, oh, oh, 25. Uh, who, are you, who are you attacking? Hypno? Yep. That hits. Roll awesome. damage. Bum bum. Uh, 15 damage. Very, uh, very nice. Uh, next up is Tyler with Charmeleon. Alright. Um, Charmeleon is going to move forward. He has... <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. I was planning on swapping anyway. Kind of metagaming, but I think we know what's happening. Uh, At this point, you, you guys kind of know the typings of each of your Pokemon, so I wouldn't say it's metagaming. You guys know the typings of your Pokemon. Uh, was Alakazam resistant to Dragon, or was that just Mr. Mime? Cause I just know Mr. Hit Mime. Alright, um... Alakazam needs to make a dexterity save 13. Ooh, let's see. He's pretty dexterous. Uh, that is a natural 18. All right. He takes half. Cool. Roll damage. Bum, 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 bum. Nineteen half. Nineteen half. Oh, so what were you? What move were you using? Side note. Dragon Rage. I can use it three. Ooh, very, very, very cool. 
Sweet. So he takes uh, half of that damage. Uh, and then next up is going to be uh, Mr. Mime. Uh, Mr. Mime is going to uh, start building. He builds around and he goes, ah, ah, there it is. And he opens up a door that doesn't exist. And he uh, steps through. Uh, and he uh, walks over here. Uh, you see him turn around and build out a little chair. And he sits down, crosses a leg, and he looks towards Onyx and goes... And uh, goes for that. Let's roll this. That is a... 12 plus. Plus 2, that is a 14 to hit. Uh, 14, no. Nah. So he, he sends it out, and Onyx just wipes off that wave of confusion coming towards him. And Mr. Mime, uh -huh. like, after seeing that, goes, like, arms up super, and, uh, and he the chair disappears, and he falls to the ground via the chair <laughs> that didn't exist. And then he, he stands back, back up, and he goes back to putting his wall together. Uh, Alakazam is, uh, who hasn't been attacked at all, is going to go for, uh, ooh, solid, uh, is going to go for a, uh, a side beam at Charmeleon. What do you have less health? Oh, that's why. Nope. Cool. Uh, so he's going to go for this here, and that is a 15 to hit. Uh, 15 is AC. And that does 13 points of damage. Oh, uh, what, what kind of damage? Uh, that is psychic damage. Are you resistant okay. to psychic? No. <laughs> I was just, I was curious. Rock, water, and ground. No. Not going to be coming from Alakazam. Uh, next up is Hypno. Uh, who is going to do uh, uh, he is going to go for a uh, a hypnosis on Jolteon so Jolteon make a wisdom save DC 15 a wisdom save you say a wisdom save Plus one, twelve. Twelve. You have fallen asleep uh, oh. for four rounds, unless you are able to wake up. So rolled max okay. on that, so you will auto be asleep for uh, four rounds. Just checking, making sure. No, never mind. Sleep is not the one you, you roll on. So you are asleep for uh, three rounds maximum, uh, and you can uh, make checks uh, as a bonus action. Which, speaking of, it is your turn. So go ahead and make another uh, con save. Uh, wisdom save, my mistake. 19. You wake up. So you fall asleep wow. and you immediately wake up. Uh, you have no bonus action, but you can take your regular action. Sweet. All right. N none of that. We're not standing for any of that, Luminosa. Let Thundershock that. You go for it. And Eric, you're on deck. Because I skipped you because you, you, you went first, but I, I looked at my page wrong. Yikes. I, I, Eight. That's a, that's a nat one there. Uh, not not one there. So you send out uh, that what you were doing, Thundershock, right? Yep. So uh, uh, Jolteon goes, uh, starts to wake up a little bit, a little bit drowsy, and just sends off the uh, Thundershock. It goes flying, completely missing, straight up into the air. Uh, hits a bit of the wall. I uh, have Jolteon make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Yeah. Just trying to mix in some different things and just fall into the ground. Fourteen. Ah, uh, perfect. So, uh, hits up some rubble from the ceiling, just starts falling to the ground, lands. Jolteon able to leap out of the way. Doesn't take any damage from it. Uh, Eric? Luminosa! Woo! All right. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. So um, Onyx is going to move up here, and then Onyx rock to Mister Mine. And that's a strength save for him, correct? Uh, if it hits. Oh, if it hits, yeah. If it hits, then he has to do a strength saving throw. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, so let's go for the hit for. Oh wait, no, no, no. You're right. It is a. It is a strength saving throw. I misread it. I don't know why. So yeah, uh, that is an eleven. No. And it'll do one d ten. Wait, no, no. It'll actually do two two d eight plus six this first time. Cool. And then it'll be one d ten for every round. Um, that is a stable breakout. Do. Cool. Uh, roll damage. And Tyler, you're up next. Eleven damage. Very, uh, very nice. Uh, Tyler, what are you doing? I'm gonna yell, Charmeleon, go, just like we practiced. Charmeleon's gonna run up here and do Dragon Ring. As Charmeleon runs up, thinking in his mind, what did we pra I don't remember practicing anything. During our bonding. We've never. Oh, during our bonding. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and uses. Dragon Rage on both Alakazam, Dex, Alakazam, and Hypno. Oh, is it a it's straight a line? Ah, oh, solid. Line. All right, they're making what deck saves you said? Deck save 13. All right, so Alakazam is going to have a natural two, uh, and Hypno is going to have a 16. 17 damage. 17 damage to Alakazam? Uh, if they failed at 17 damage. And if, if they, they succeed, succeed, it was half. half. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Alakazam uh, does take the full damage, uh, and Hypno takes half damage. I like this move that I just learned when yeah. he evolved. Charmeleon evolved and learned Dragon Rage. It's very good, but I can only do it three times. It's a pretty solid move, especially in a, in a cone like that. Uh, sweet. Uh, uh, Mr. Mime is going to go next. Uh, he's going to look around at everything uh, that is happening, uh, and he is going to go for a... Uh, he's going to send another confusion. This time, he's going to turn towards Charmeleon, though. Uh, who's wrecking shop. Who's wrecking shop. Uh, and that is going to be in... Natural 18, that's going to be a dirty 20 to hit. Uh, That barely hit. Oh, wow, yeah, wow. Hmm, wouldn't expect that. Go ahead <laughs> and roll damage Charmeleon here. is a young dragon. He's a young red dragon. A war one. Eight. Uh, that is 12 damage. Okay. So he deals 12 damage to you, uh, and then he builds himself uh, a little seat, and he sits down crosses his leg to watch forward. Uh, Alakazam is uh, going to turn towards you uh, and uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Charmeleon. Charmeleon? Yes. Wisdom um, Did you... Wait, did you say Mr. Mime did that towards Charmeleon? Yes, Mr. Mime attacked Charmeleon. Seven. Did he break out of his rock too? Oh, shoot! I forgot that was Mr. Mime. Tyler, you might not take that damage. Well, that's a d12. So no. Well, no. I I, I, I I rolled a a d twelve, and then I rolled a d twenty. Uh, oh, I got. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a dirty twenty. Rolled a natural nineteen. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, Tyler, what was your roll? Seven. Seven. You need DC fifteen. So let's see here. Wonderful. Uh, so, on your. Uh, on your app. Uh, whatever move is number one, because I rolled a d4 and one was the number, uh, you cannot use that move for a minute, because he used Disable. It's... Well, your brightness is too high. I had to lower my brightness to make sure you could see it. Is it Wait, Dragon? You need... No, you need to see it. What's number one, because you'll lull. Is it Smokescreen? Dragon Rage. That's what Alakazam was hoping for. So that was, he used Disable... DC 15, and then you roll a D4, and whatever number it is, whatever move corresponding with that gets disabled for a minute. Disabled my la I only had one Dragon Rage left, uh, and he let's see. it out. Just to make sure the move corresponding... Uh... Okay, yeah. Cool. The only other thing at the bottom was if you have, like, the extra move feet, then you roll, like, a D6 instead of a D4. Uh, solid. Uh, so Hypno is going to take their turn. Uh, Hypno is uh, going to go for a... Uh, Hypno is going to go for a future sight. So Hypno kind of just like brings up its medallion and it starts just swinging in front of his face. 
And uh, that will end his turn. Uh, Eric and Ariana's on deck. Okay. Um, Onyx is going to rock to uh, Mr. Mime again. Cool, go for it. So you have to roll a strength. Strength saving. Ooh, he easy. fails that. That's a DC three. Uh, that's a, a natural three. Yeah, he failed that. And so he's going to take 15 damage initially. Sweet. I need to get... Uh, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do here. Uh, so I stop forgetting this nonsense. Uh, draw shape. There we go. That he is entombed, just so I stop forgetting. I'll put that little line around him. Uh, right. sweet. So, Ariana? Alright, Blue Moon, so Thunder Shock him again. Thunder Shock away. 17? Uh, that's on Hypno. That hits. Awesome. Roll damage. 16 damage. Solid. That is some solid damage right there. Uh, Tyler, you are up. Mm. Let's Ember. I'll... Go for it. Uh, Eric, just for a note, Mr. Mime is technically restrained right now, correct? Yes. Yeah, so just for future reference, you would have advantage on Mr. Mime if you wanted to. Not now, but or just so you know, he is technically restrained, and anyone attacking him would have advantage. Awesome. 18. 18 to hit uh, Alakazam, that hits. 10 damage. 10, 10 fire damage. damage. Solid. Uh, and it is uh, Mr. Mime's turn. So he is going to make his strength save. Uh, and that is a 10. Eric? Sorry, no, that doesn't hit. Cool. Sorry, I was looking at... I'm no, looking save. At oh, I do a save? No, 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 no. Mr. Mime oh. rolled a 10 for his save. No, still no. Oh, gotcha, solid. Does he take additional damage? Uh, yeah, it's a D10. So I'll roll it if you want me to. Yeah, or... you can roll it. Four. Ooh, very, very, very nice. Uh, and then Alakazam is going to uh, Alakazam is going to uh, step this way. Uh, Sabrina's like that. Onyx is restraining Mister Mime. Take care of him, uh, and she is going to send a side beam at you. Uh, so that is going to be a natural one. So Alakazam sends it flying past Onyx, hits the wall on the other side. Uh, and as it does, uh, one of his uh, psychic, uh, one of his spoons gets completely bent to the wrong way, uh, and he's gonna have to take some time uh, next time to fix the spoon if he wants to do anything. Uh, up next is Hypno. Hypno is going to let loose his uh, future sight or his future sight onto uh, Jolteon. Uh, that is a sixteen to hit. That's it. I see. <laughs> I'm very sorry for what he's about to do to you. He's about to end your whole career. Uh, 12. Uh, you take uh, 22 points of damage. Uh, and up next is Eric. Take out Eevee or no? Okay. Um, Onyx is going to use. Actually, he's going to move up here, and then it's going to use Rock Tomb on Hitmo uh, Chan. Hitmo Chan? No. Nope, not that one. What'd you win? I'm in the wrong. I'm in the Are official. You Master Blake. <laughs> <laughs> so because do not mention that buffoon in my gym. He's um, a great friend. Rock tomb on um, the one that just did that huge amount of damage on Goldfield. Wait, that was Hypno. Hypno. I was close. Well, no, you were. You got the first letter. <laughs> so, uh, needs a little strength. 
Uh, that is a that is a eight. No. Ooh, roll damage. Fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. Very nice. I wish that other D8 was not a one. But, the other uh, one's an eight, though. Yeah. That's that the most. Uh, Ariana? I am going to, well, Luminosa, let's keep strong and Thundershock again. Uh, did you want to uh, draw that, that tomb around oh, yes, him? Yes, too? yes, yes, yes. 21. Uh, that Twenty-one. hits. Yeah, go ahead uh, and uh, roll damage. If he's in tune, wouldn't she get a... Uh, oh, yeah, you have advantage on him. He's in tune. Sorry, I had to, to reload roll 20 at uh, first. Yeah, roll 20. 20. Oh, do it again if you get a critical. Yeah, you could, you could roll a nat 20. Oh, I didn't roll that. We'll join um, the game nothing. shortly. There we are. Eight. <laughs> cool. So, nat yeah, so go ahead and roll damage there. I think I wanted to roll. Uh, and Tyler, okay. you were up next. 14 oh. damage. Go ahead and refresh roll for me while it's not your turn. Sweet. Uh, Hypno it. is not looking good. Uh, Mr. Mime is also not looking very good. Uh, uh, Tyler is up. Seeing that happens, uh, Charmeleon is going to Ember the Hypno. Cool, go for it with advantage. He's currently restrained. 19. That hits. Blam, 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 blam. Eight damage. Solid. Uh, Hypno is still not looking good. And with that, uh, Mr. Mime is going to take his turn. He's going to make his strength save. Uh, that is a 15. No. Ooh, okay. Uh, so he takes take damage. Two damage. Perfect. Uh, after that is going to be Alakazam, who stares down at his spoon, and Sabrina's like, Al Alakazam, it's fine. It's fine. Your spoon it's fi will fix, and he he spins his action getting his spoon back to its shape, uh, which would be the same as if like he was using a bow, rolled a natural one, and he had to restring his bow. Uh, and then Hypno is going to make his uh, strength saving throw. That is a natural one. So definitely not. Definitely not. No, no, no. So roll damage for Hypno. Five. Uh, as it, uh, the rock kind of strangles in there and, and pulls him together, he falls over, and just as he's about to hit, you see him disappear as Sabrina recalls him uh, before he can fall fully unconscious. Because, you know, she's psychic. And she, you know, doesn't want her Pokemon to have be unnecessarily injured. Uh, and next up is uh, Eric. All right. Um, and he, uh, Onyx, he's Rock Tomb on uh, Alakazam. Yeah, might as well what? entomb everyone here. Guys, See, these are the things, like, bards, <laughs> bards should do. It's funny. Onyx, you don't think of as the bard class, but really, he pretty much is. <laughs> Onyx he is the bard of the group. But he's also, he's, he's doing great. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack on Alakazam. Uh, no, you, uh, do Oh, strength save. Duh! Oh my gosh. Uh, that would be a 10. No. <laughs> Perfect. Roll damage. 15. The opposite this time. Uh, the, not the highest and the lowest, the lowest and the highest. Hey, there you go. Uh, Alakazam is still, he's standing pretty steady. Uh, next up is Ariana with Tyler on deck. All right. Let's get that Alakazam with a thunder shot. Go for it. 21. Uh, go ahead and roll with advantage as well because he is entombed. Uh, Eric got that out there before I could. Uh, cool. Yeah, so roll damage. Okay. Um, I thought I was, when I rolled the d12, I thought I was going to be 20. Uh, and I wasn't, so I re rolled to d20 and now oh, gotcha. I'm damage. Uh, what's 15. damage? 15 damage, solid. Sweet. Uh, next up is Tyler. I am going hit back them and Ember. Cool, and you have advantage because he is restrained. Uh, I'm going to go with the 24 because that's a natural team. Uh, Alakazam is burned. Okay. Sweet. Uh, 
Uh, so just for our friends at home, burn. A burn creature's attack deal half their normal damage. In addition, the creature takes the amount of, t of typeless damage equal to its proficiency bonus at the beginning of each of its turns until it's faint or it's cease to burns. Max damage. Max 16, 16 damage. Fire. Sweet. Alakazam is not looking good. Uh, and we will go to Mr. Mime's turn. He is going to make his strength save uh, with a natural one, so he takes damage. Yep. Uh, and, Mish and Alakazam is going to make his strength save with a natural two, and he will also take damage. So Mime takes two damage. Uh, Alakazam takes six. Uh, Alakazam takes his damage, uh, is unable to even go for the burn as Sabrina whips out her Pokeball and retrieves uh, Alakazam before he can fall out of conscience as well. Uh, back to the top of the order with Eric. Mr. Mime is all that remains and he does not look good. Uh, he's gonna rock through. Go for it. With advantage because yep. he is, uh, restrained. Beautiful. 22. That hits. So I have noticed that I will have to, uh, Giovanni is going to appear at the end of this episode and demand that you give him your onyx. <laughs> I will not allow you to keep it. He's going to be like, nope, give that back. Uh, 12 damage. Uh, how does onyx take out Mr. Mime? Um, he is going to, uh, Mr. Mime is going to be struggling to get out and he's just going to lackadaisically toss uh, one, one uh, boulder from his tail over his head and just let it clonk him in the head once. As the boulder is coming, Mr. Mime sees it, and he's frantically trying to get his arms free. And as it gets closer, one arm comes out, and he starts like trying to like put up the wall. And then as it goes by, just clonk. And uh, before he can fall back and hit his head, Sabrina ball out and returns him to her hand. Uh, and as she does that, she looks at the three of you, and she goes, Wonderful. I knew the three of you would be a challenge. The three of you are very exceptional trainers. Make a constitution save! I'm just kidding. She's not... I'm just kidding. She just immediately... She immediately probes into your head. Uh, so yeah, so she uh, walks over... She sees a lot of yellow. She... Uh, Walks to the uh, to the center of the room, uh, and as the she goes, it was all yellow. <laughs> and as the three of you approach, she goes, "You not only saved me from Lieutenant Surge and dealt with him, which the Pokemon League is uh, looking into now, uh, but you also managed to come and defeat both my challenge and me as a gym leader. So for that, I give each of you the Soul Badge." And she passes each of you the uh, the soul badge. It's very it's very pretty, very pretty, very pretty. And she goes. Normally, the uh, my secretary outside uh, would uh, update your trainer cards, uh, but I can do that for you uh, as we leave. And she heads out uh, to the uh, main room and logs into the computer there. Uh, asks for each of your trainer cards. Uh, as she takes them, uh, you. Uh, she updates, eight, updates them. She hands them back to you. It now resembles the fact that you now have four uh, gym badges. As she does, you've also noticed that she's added into your trainer card that you now also have the Thunder Badge. Uh, and she also gives you uh, 1,500 Poke Dollars as a reward. And she goes, this is also a, uh, a very fun uh, move of mine that helped me when I was very young. Uh, so I shall give it to each of you. And she gives all of you TM3 uh, Psyshock. Ooh. Uh, so, let me pull up TM3 here, uh, just so you guys, just so we can say it. Uh, so you guys can just add it to your inventory, uh, TM3 Psyshock, as I find uh, the description of the move, so I can read it. I wish this was, I could just like easily like search through. There it is. Uh, Psyshock, uh, psychic type move, move power, intelligence, wisdom. Uh, it has 5 PP. Uh, it's an instantaneous range of 30 feet. You materialize a psychic wave that shocks an opponent. Make an attacked range dealing 2d6 plus move psychic damage on a hit. Uh, and as you uh, increase to higher levels, you can do increasingly more damage up to 6d6 damage at level 17. So yeah. Nice. 
So she hands that all to you, and she goes, "You, the three of you, have done uh, a wonderful job. Uh, where shall you go next?" Probably sell it on city. That would be best. Uh, I would suggest uh, you uh, study up. And she like gives a little bit of a chuckle, and she goes, "Well, uh, have a uh, wonderful day. I uh, give Erica my regards." Absolutely. And it kind of looks at her inquisitively, like, "Is there something?" That I'm missing here. <laughs> and uh, you, as you give her that look, she goes, I'm sorry, Silver, there is not. Well, it's, it's not that I want it. It's just that Leaf said. Oh, yes. And I'm really confused. Yes, and he I, listens to everything Leaf says. I am, I am in a uh, long-term committed relationship, but I, I do appreciate it. Oh, really? No, I haven't heard that. Uh, well, I do keep my personal life rather personal. Uh, Sabrina, can you do me a favor? Um, sure. I just, okay. I mean, you probably know what the favor is anyway. Um, I, want... I try not to probe into people's minds unwarranted. It is, uh, rather rude. So, Yellow, you know Yellow, she helped. I do, yes. Wonderful girl. Um, she's probably gonna be here later today to challenge you. Most likely. Uh, she, I do have her on the schedule for later. Tell her I said hi. And that I'm rooting for. I will pass your message along. Thank you. Y yes. Well, I don't. Why? Why would she be acting like this, Chandler? That doesn't make sense to me. Be because she's a gym leader, and you're asking, basically asking her to pass a note. So she. So it's pretty <laughs> unprofessional. It's like it's it's one of these like, make sure she knows I'm rooting for her. Yes, but this is. Oh. Uh, Real world and not anime world, so so it's like yeah, it's anime, right? No, it's not anime <laughs> world. It's D and D world. She goes, um, yes, I I'll, I'll pass that message along for you. Thank you. Um, yeah. What what time? What what slot does she have? Um, I uh, and she looks at the computer. She uh looks like she has a, a battle scheduled for uh uh eleven thirty a.m. today. Uh, it is so currently nine forty-five. You guys have been here since nine o'clock. All right, thank you, Sabrina. Yes. Have a uh, have a wonderful day. Safe travels to you. All right. What you guys well, want to do? Uh, want to go? Uh, well, down to uh, Celadon. Hmm. So we need to go get our bike. Where is that at? It's up north. Are you guys having this conversation like in the lobby with Sabrina still sitting there? I yeah. We're out. Oh, are are you walking out or sitting in the lobby? Let's say we're outside the front of the gym talking. Okay, so you guys are outside in front of the gym talking. Yes. But Yellow wanted to go there too, so we could wait, watch Yellow's battle, and then all travel together to get our bike. And what are we going to do for the next two hours? We can go play in our base. Our hideout. Sure, let's do that. Uh, Make some more. So as you guys are having that conversation, uh, from the south uh, coming up, you see a familiar face approaching. And as he walks up, he goes, Jesse! Hey, yeah. guys! <laughs> and it's Josh, Josh! Who you guys My saw boy. in Pewter City. And he walks up and he goes, Hey, I, I I don't know if you guys remember. My name's I remember Josh. you, Josh. Yeah, you 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 gave me some great advice for, uh, like kind of like at, like diversifying my team for uh that, for my battle with Brock. How's that going? It it, it it's great. I, I actually just beat I beat Misty. Uh, yeah, last night I was her last battle of the night. I uh, I actually rounded out my team with a a star you and a Jigglypuff. Wow, solid moms, my guy. Yeah, it, yeah. It, I I. I, I managed to make my way through Brock's gym and and Misty my my Jigglypuff actually did most of the work there uh, and I, I actually have a, have a battle scheduled with Sabrina uh, uh, in a, in, a, in like a, about fifteen minutes. Um, how many Pokemon you got in your decks now? Oh, uh, I got like I, I got about like twelve. Only twelve? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm still I'm, I'm working get, on it. Once you get twenty five, uh, I got a present for you. Oh, what? I can't tell you now, but when you hit 25, 
call me and I'll should, we'll link should, some. should we exchange numbers heck yeah my guy and you guys put the Porygon phones together and your uh, contact info changes He's so wholesome for a team rocket member once you get to 25 you got a prize uh, that's yeah I'll I'll, I'll I'll let I'll keep you updated so also this is the official gym yeah right yeah here. Sabrina's mm -hmm. gym yeah so after we become champion, our buddy right here is in the unofficial gym, but he's a nice guy, Master Blake. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm first time so in Saffron I, City. So anyways, he's the unofficial gym. We're trying to start him up. He's a good guy. He might be back. He, he's going to be gone for a couple of days. But if you end up back in this town, pop in, challenge him. He's a oh. cool dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any advice? He's a fighting type. So mm. your Jigglypuff, if you get your Jigglypuff can learn some psychic type moves, it'll be really good again. I mean, and you get, oh, I mean, he, get he is pretty buff. I, I, I do call, I, I, I do have, I have a fun name for him. Oh, what yeah? Is yeah, for, what is for my Jigglypuff. He, he's pretty buff. I have a fun name for him. <laughs> tell me your Jigglypuff's nickname. Oh, well, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. Oh, uh, yeah, please tell us. Tell us. Oh, 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 his name's Jiggly. Ooh, I like that nickname. Yeah. And I, I pull out a, I pull out a. But, uh, yeah. You want to know what mine's called? You have a Jigglypuff too? I do. Oh, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yours called? Puff King. That's a really cool. What? Wait, 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 wait. That's a tight name. That's a very cool name. That's what level really is cool. Oh, uh, he he's he he uh, level level five. Mine's level seven. Oh, Ooh, oh he, he, he looks at you with reverence. I'm going to say, hey, Josh, you ever seen a shiny Jolteon? Wow. No. <laughs> I've never seen a shiny Pokemon at all. I, I, I don't think they're real. Come on, Vanessa, come on out. And as it pops out, he goes, I'm, where did you, how did you? I saved her. That's amazing. And he pulls out his Pokédex. Jolteon, the uh, electric type Pokémon. Wow, that's so cool. And he closes it up. Oh, I wish I could, like, I wish you could, like cycle. <laughs> He's so cool. She can revert to that. Eevee and then back into Jolteon, but that's it for an eight-hour period. Okay. Hey, Jolteon, um, Lumosa, go back to Eevee. And he, he... I've never seen an Eevee that could do that before, and he... Eevee, the normal type Pokemon. That that's amazing. Thank you so much. Tyler, you're frozen. He's in awe. <laughs> Leaf, are you, are you okay, Leaf? Yeah, I was just in awe seeing Hey. You were yeah, you were in awe. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <That's> awesome. <laughs> well, um, I gotta get in here to get this battle done, but uh I'll I'll catch up with you guys later. Where are you guys off to? We're going to go get a bike, and then we're going to be in Celadon City. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to head to uh, Vermilion City next to uh, to take on Lieutenant Surge. Oh, so he's oh. not there anymore. Lieutenant Surge was a bad guy. He got arrested. What? Yeah, he was working with some bad people. That Who's running his gym now? I don't know. I assume the Pokemon League is going to put someone else up there for now, but you might need to skip Vermilion City if no one's there, and then come back to it later. Okay, I'll I'll talk to Sabrina about it and see. Maybe maybe she knows something. Maybe she is she's a now, member of the Pokemon League. Sabrina has three Pokemon she uses. Okay. She uses a Mister Mime. Oh, okay. She uses a Alakazam and a Hypno. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that sounds great. Remember, you're typing. Remember, Type. you're typing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, awesome. I'm ready. You got this. You're going to do great. I got this. Oh. And he gets Hold a high five. Right. And he hits that high five perfectly. Nice. All right. Call me when you get to 25. Okay. Oh, man. You know I will. And he, he like, jogs and plays for a second. He goes, all right, all right. All right. Here we go. And he you got it. opens up the door. Uh, and he comes inside. And he's I'm going to brainwash that. I was going to say, um, it, I think uh, I think Josh might just be our first recruit. He's my, like, I got my eyes as soon as I saw Josh. He's my boy. My protege. Protege. So what do you guys want to do? You guys want to wait for yellow? You want to just move on without her? We should text her. Let her. 
I'll text her. You can, you can text her. What do you say to her? I say, hey, Yellow, we just beat Sabrina. Um, thinking about heading out. Do you want us to wait for you, or should we go on and meet you in Celadon? Uh, she responds back, and uh, like a, a minute or so okay. later. Uh, oh, hey. a minute or so later? She texts me back instantly. Uh, no, a minute or so later, not instantly. Uh, no, she... a minute or so later. She goes, hey, sorry, uh, I uh, got up this morning and headed to uh, Cerulean City to pick up my bike. Uh, and then... She was without us? <laughs> she, she told you yesterday she was planning to do that. I don't... Yeah, while well, you're eating pizza. And she goes, uh, yeah, I'll, I, I'll catch up with you guys in Celadon. Oh, we're we're about to head up and get our bikes. Maybe we'll pass you on the route. Uh, Smiling face energy. Roll up charisma check. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Man, it's weird that this has become a dating sim now. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, I need you to pick a game. Are we playing Pokemon, Minecraft, or Dating Simulator? <laughs> gotta, gotta pick one. Uh, no, we're playing Pokemon Pizza. Pizza Mama. Uh, she doesn't respond. Maybe she's busy. <laughs> uh, it pops up and it says red. Uh, 958. <laughs> Well, let's go get our bikes, guys. Let's go get our yeah, bikes. Get bike. Cool. So we will say that you guys travel your way up to Cerulean. Are you guys planning to do anything else in Cerulean City? No. No, we've been there, right? Yeah. So you guys go inside. You pick up your bike. You exchange the bike vouchers. Uh, the guy's like, oh, wow, this is, this is like the second one. Uh, second people today I've seen. That's that's uh, uh, amazing. Uh, here you go. Uh, you have the choice of a red, blue, or a green bike. Blue. Red. Well, I guess I get the green. Cool. Well, it, it matches our starters. Oh, it does. Yeah, right. That's really cool. Uh, sweet. So you guys have your bicycles, and you guys are able to back your way back down to Saffron City. And that is where we will bring today's episode to a close. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so that was, uh, that was that was fun. That was great. You guys now have another gym badge uh, in your, uh, in your uh, name. As you guys make it one step closer to the Pokemon League, and potentially world domination, question mark, or just building a really cool base. But I guess world we'll find domination. out next time when we head to... You guys are heading to Celadon, I assume? Yeah. yeah. Magical. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, if you did, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Uh, and we'll see you next Sunday for more Pokemon Dungeons and Dragonites. We will see you in the next one.